Okay, good morning. Today, I wanna show you how you can use my, my target platform plugin and the uh, plugin deployer. Okay. Uh, this is the repository of the plugin. And I wanna show you how you can use that in a Jenkins environment. I will start. I was connected to my test server. This is my test server. And I have this a lot of plugins running. Okay. Uh, if, as you see, you, uh, we have a specific version for all the plugins. Okay, how you can create that? Let me show you. Replace. We have the target platform. Okay. And this plugin um, build a lot of plugin or, or a simple plugin. Uh, with Maven, okay? You can run just uh, with a simple line, plugin builder, or you can use <clears throat> a file for, for the plugin path, okay? For the source. I have an example here. And this is my plugin path, okay? If I if check something, okay, it's empty. When I run this, this will make the Maven for all this plugin, okay? And we'll create a, a jar, jar file. You see, it's compiling all the plugin. Done. Okay. In the target folder, you have all the plugin with it with the, the date. Um, ready. Okay. Now, um, I have a Jenkins file ready with all this plugin. Okay. Uh, this is the available name for each plugin. Uh, this command cloned the source of for each plugin. Okay. And the plugin build. Builder, uh, build all the plugins and create the jar. Yeah. Okay. As you see, you have all the plugin ready, and this line copy the plugin to the QA uh, server for the test server. Okay. The deployer in this list. Um, create, uh, install the plugin, uninstall the previous version and install the new version with the build number of Jenkins, okay? This is this is this control and this, you can see the, the plugin name with the, the specific version, okay? Uh, let's see this in the real world, okay? Now I can change something in my repository uh, let me search my plugin and okay here Okay. 
ready. I need change something and uh, maybe do um, with me. And I made with And I make a new comet and my Jenkins will start a new task. Okay, ready? And this uh, do the task and start with the process. Let's check. Cloning. You see, it's, it's cloning all my plugin. Okay. The same of this line is running that. Okay. Let's check the previous version is this. Resets to it's building the, the the plugins. All this environment is running from uh, with Docker, okay? The item pair and the on the deployer. Okay, now the deployer, as you see, is connected to the server and uh, uninstall the plugin and install the new one, okay? With this version, 363, okay? Check. This is this is the new version, and this is the previous version. Okay. This will deploy almost change in the. And the plugin will upload automatically to the test server. Okay.
done. Okay, we do finish, uh, stop the Docker and delete the Docker. Okay, uh, that is all. Uh, it's a very simple process. If you see, uh, the deployer made the work to install all the plugins and you, you don't need to make anything. Always you have the same version installed in the, in the item pair. Uh, I can check in here too. Plugins, the ID. Okay. And we have the, this version installed for, for all the plugins. Okay. Yeah, that is. You can find the source of this here and the target platform here. And I can share maybe with, with, with Diego uh, this Jenkins file for, for example, or we can create a, something example for the demo server for, for the community. Okay, thank you. If you have some question, maybe we can move to Metamost.